Hello, I'm Nick Pandolfi and this is Quick Food for Carers. We're here in Essex, we're at Thorpe Le Socan, and this is Lifehouse. 89 rooms, you've got all sorts of treatments, you've got spas, you've got hydrotherapy, you've just got that moment, just you time, adult time, and also carers come free in the spa. More on that on the website and actually you can win some treatments here. Details at Carers, Family Carers Net on the website and on Facebook. And this is Head Chef James. Nice to see you and thank you very much. You thank um, you very much. You've got some really good quick food for carers recipes. Recipes will be on the website. We've got a bit of pasta going on. Indeed I do. We have uh, a simple sausage uh, and broccoli spaghetti that I'm going to make for you today. Um, it's something that you should be able to make out of your cupboards at home. Um, there shouldn't be anything there that, that you shouldn't have. So and it's all fairly, fairly easy. Uh, I've got a couple of bits here I've already prepared for you. I've got some, uh, some spaghetti here that I've already cooked, but obviously you can and it would be preferable to use some fresh pasta that you can just buy from the shop. It's a couple just, of pounds, isn't it, Yeah, really? a couple of pounds, mm. and you can just pour it into some boiling water in two, three minutes. It's nice bit of green, nice bit of veg. Indeed, so I've got uh, broccoli here that has just been boiled for three or four minutes and uh, then cut up nice and small. We have uh, some sausages, everyday breakfast sausage, that uh, we will be taking out of the skin uh, and cooking. So uh, I'll get started for you. Yeah, absolutely. You far, far away. So when did, when did you first chef then? When was you? When was when did you uh, cook I, I first? First started cooking uh, actually through um, some friends of the family when I was on holiday. So I started when I was about eleven years old. Um, wow. In kitchens. Uh, so that's where I sort of got my love. And that's my where love the bug. Bug. You found the bug. Yeah, I ended up. I went out and stayed in Spain with um, with these friends of uh, my mum and dad for uh, the summer holiday for six weeks and uh, cooked. Uh, in the evening and enjoyed myself by the uh, by the pool and on the beach by day. It was uh, sort of an, an idyllic life. So I ended up uh, I ended up thinking that life was going to be like that all the time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, um, well, you're yeah, in beautiful so. you're in beautiful Essex and you've got incredible grounds here. I mean, we, if you get a chance to just check out the website, we'll put details as well on our Facebook page. But really amazing heritage land around here, acres and acres, just where you can turn up, relax, pamper yourself, and a bit of rain off the roof. Because it has actually been raining today. You're right there, Chef. Did the recipe need a little bit of extra water? <laughs> it, it could always do with it. I think, the old, I think the old chef gods were saying, put a bit more water in without sausage. <laughs> but hey, uh, yeah, so hence the hats. You notice that James has obviously got a professional hat on. I've got, I don't mind what I look like, but frankly, the fringe was a bit of an issue. So um, this is a fringe hat. All right, so the sausage is making into nice meatballs. Yes, sausage is just going in there. Are they sort well, of, you watch. said they're breakfast sausage. They're not particularly as, as it goes, actually, they, they obviously will already have seasoning in. So yeah. when you're making the dish, you need to be careful not to add too much salt to it. It's just, it just takes a, another little pinch. Uh, if, you go, if you were to go seasoning it too far, because there's already quite a bit of salt in the sausage, and yeah. in the, uh, there's also pepper in there as well. So uh, go steady on the seasoning with this one. Well, I'm just going through, going through the recipe. So you've got, a little bit of bro you've got half a head of broccoli, um, three small sausages, little salt and pepper, 100 millilitres of hot water, a little bit of rainwater, that's optional. Um, you've got 50 millilitres of olive oil and you've got some grated parmesan. Yeah, that's all the things we've got. So we've got the sausage in there. Now we're going to add our clove of minced garlic. Could you use garlic paste or is that, in a, I can, get, is it, would a chef say no to garlic paste? Most, most Yeah, you words. smiled. Yeah, a most. chef would say no to garlic paste. Did you see that? Chef, that was a polite grin. Chefs don't oh, do lazy. Don't so mention so garlic <laughs> paste to me. Lazy garlic isn't really the best <laughs> thing to use. You want to try and do it yourself at home if you can. Yeah, yeah. So, like, the rest of the dish is fairly simple, so. Uh, What's your favourite way to, 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 to um, de-skin a, a clove of garlic? So I was with one chef some episodes back and he got us he was a bit of a show off actually but we were quite impressed he got a clove of garlic and a couple of sort of um chrome pans and a bit like a cocktail he went like that and as if by magic if you've seen it online there's many different ways what's uh, your way you can do, uh, literally just take the take the, the root end off yeah uh, and then just use a flat knife like so and then just easy crush it. just a little crush and it'll just come traditionalist you see easy way to do it so we're, so we're browning, making sure that the sausage is nice and a bit crunchy then? A little bit, well, you want, yeah, you want, you want to get a little bit of, uh, of colour onto it. Uh, but you must make sure that you always keep mashing it up. Because if you don't keep mashing it up, you're going to end up with it cooking in, in large lumps. And, we want, uh, and then it'll be like a, yeah, like we, a, sort of like a fritter or we, burger. We, we want it like, like mince, not like meatballs. Yes. Okay, not like meatballs. No. All right. So Because the sausage um, and, and all the, the moisture uh, and the fat inside the sausage is going to break down with the broccoli that I'm going to add and, and the olive oil, the sausage and the broccoli is going to create the sauce. So we don't, it's obviously a lot of uh, pasta dishes are tomato based and, and things like that but we don't have any sort of sauce going in there so the, the, when the broccoli cooks down and mashes up 
that's going to sort of amalgamate with the with the olive oil and uh, and then we'll have a nice coating for our pasta. Mums, dads, carers, they come here obviously to Lifehouse to relax, to have some me time. Kitchens are sometimes known as not being particularly um, stress-free. Does that mean you have to keep the noise down in the kitchen so you don't... So the guests are relaxing. Obviously, we, they, want to hear, they want to hear a loud chef, do they? We do have to be very careful like that, indeed. We have to make sure that the doors are kept closed because sometimes things can get a little bit heated in the kitchen. Not too often, I'm, I... Uh, but you've got, you've got Ugo, haven't you? Ugo is executive chef and he's Italian, isn't he? He is indeed. So like me, he's going to be loud, isn't he? <laughs> he we'll meet him. We'll meet him. He meet can him. be. Thank, the, thank, thankfully, me and him get along fairly well. I've cool. known him for about 15 years. Oh, now. that's good. So it's a good relationship. Nice yeah. romance going on there. Indeed. We've worked together for a long time. So uh, Look at that. I like that. See, that you, you just do that naturally. I've done that. I've now been looking for the Vali de Supermop to wipe up, up the floor. It'll end up all over the pan. Yeah. Yes. It'll end up all over the floor. That right, nice colour though there, isn't there, James? Isn't it? A bit of broccoli. So we, ju we just have our, literally all that's in there is our sausage, our broccoli, uh, the garlic, and we're going to put just an ever such a small pinch of salt in there. Like I said, not too much because you've already got the salt and pepper in there from the pepper going in there as well. You've already got a fair bit of seasoning in the sausage, so you don't, you shouldn't need any more. So cooking time from start to finish to, to serving it up would be how long would from you say? To, the longest thing it, to cook is, is the pasta, but uh, from start to finish, 10 minutes. Uh, easy then. Ten minutes. Easy. Five, five minutes preparation, uh, and, and, and ten minutes to cook it. It's as simple as that. You can even when uh, when you're making it, um, you'll only need two pans because we have uh, the broccoli. You've got obviously a pan of boiling water, so you can just cook your broccoli in the boiling water there, and then use the same water for the pasta. So if anything, you're just adding slightly more flavour to it by, by doing that. So, well, we'll we'll use a little bit of editing magic. We'll give this a little bit more cooking time, and then we'll be back, and we'll be ready for the next stage. I'll tell you what, I've, had, I've been completely exfoliated, if you'll pardon the expression, here at Lifehouse. Absolutely amazing, James. How's it been in the last few minutes since I've been around? Yeah, I had yeah, to get back on. Going, everything's going fine. It's been about, about five minutes here. This has been cooking down for. Uh, just as it, as it runs out of moisture in the pan uh, every time, just a little top up with, uh, with a little bit of boiling water out of out the pan there. So just keeping it moist. And what, what, they, what this is doing is just cooking the broccoli down completely so it's starting to break up. So the broccoli will form the basis of the sauce along with the, the moisture that we have in there and the sausage. So now we are almost completely free of moisture in the pan. We are going to add a little bit more olive oil. Is that, is any, that's just normal standard olive oil? Just normal. The, the better the better quality of olive oil. The extra virgin definitely. Um, and if you can if you can afford the expensive stuff then it's always going to be better but mm. any any decent quality olive oil from, from uh, Tesco, Sainsbury's, the sort of thing. They're all, they're all fairly good. So as long as it's not the cheapest one going. No, no, there. okay. All right. Okay. That, and the smell here is incredible. And that, is that, that's the sausage, the garlic. The and sausage, the garlic, and obviously the fresh broccoli there. It's, it's, that's all really good. Uh, Italian cooking is, is fairly simple in itself. It, it usually is uh, a, a few big flavours, uh, and that's it. You don't want too many things going on. And actually, uh, some of the, the, the best known, um, I mean, like pizza, for example, I mean, that is basically, that was, that was peasants who didn't have anything else. They had a bit of tomato and they had a bit of indeed, stale bread, indeed. in effect. But, but the things that they do have were always quality. The things like the tomatoes yeah, and etc. Good quality, so yeah. The, the good Makes quality the difference. always shines through, indeed. Yeah. So not, not too many ingredients, but good quality ones. Okay. So there we go. So we've got our extra olive oil in there. So now we are going to take our pasta, which, as I said, I've, I've already pre-cooked this. Um, but you can use at home just some some fresh pasta out of uh, at the supermarket and uh, a couple of minutes and it'll be uh, it'll be good to go so once again as our, our sauce is starting to lose moisture if it starts to get too dry you can just add a little bit out of the pan and what's your what's your food hack your top chef tip with regards to pasta because sometimes pasta can can beat even even the best of us well the the best thing to do with pasta is obviously always keep stirring it. Lots of people like to put a little smidge of olive oil into their water. That's really just so if you've forgotten about it, so it doesn't start to stick together. Bit but of stock maybe sometimes? Salt is salt. the best thing. The right amount of salt. Most people when they're at home, they, they tend to add just, a, just one little pinch of salt to a pad of water that big. And quite frankly, that's never going to make, it's never going to cut it. It's never going to season the actual spaghetti. So a good a good couple of three-fingered pinches into your pan of water like that. You need to put more in than what, what uh, we're you in, think. We're, we're in Essex, and I'm, I'm, I'm guessing that that's probably something like Molden. Is that Molden salt? That is Molden so salt. So just down, just down the road, but just oh, up indeed. the coast, isn't it, really? You can use local produce where you can. Everything that we, uh, we use here comes from local suppliers. Um, 
it's always best to use what's on your doorstep because uh, things like vegetables and the like, they lose nutrients once they've been uh, sat on the shelf for a while. So if you can have something that's uh, a little bit more local, it's always going to taste that much better. Well, you pamper people here. That's what you do at Lifehouse, whether it be the spa treatments, exfoliating, whatever it is, just a relaxed time. Um, you are in the business, you're in the business of show, aren't you? Show business, really, and making people feel better. It's not just a normal hotel. There's a lot more going on here than just standard hotel. Indeed. That, that's quite a lot of, for you and the team, wherever they are in the complex, there's a lot of responsibility to make people feel great that they've been to, to Lifehouse. Yeah, they come, they come here and to, uh, to relax and, and have a nice time and to, and to eat, sometimes to, to eat indulgently, but, but more often than not, it's to, to eat healthily and to sort of re re-cleanse themselves, as it were. So we, uh, we cook a lot of food that is um, based around, uh, like, Good nut nutritional value, things things like that. So you you want to have uh, things on the menu that that aren't uh, full of butter and uh, and cream and, and, and sugar, etc. Obviously nowadays a lot of people are, are going gluten free, so we have a lot of things that uh, we make here that cater for for those customers, which is which is in itself a challenge, but. Um, Obviously, very very doable with uh, all the, the ingredients that we have on our, our doorstep here. Carers go free, of course, if you're using the spa here. And actually, we've got some treats for you. If you go to Carer, uh, Family Carers Net and you go to the website or to our Facebook page, uh, Family Carers Net, you will find uh, that uh, you can actually win some treatments here. You can actually have a spa day, um, thanks to Andy and the team. So we'll tell you about that on the Facebook. And uh, Simon's just writing up a message for me. All right, hang on. Plate on hob to serve. All right. We've got to put the plate on the hob to serve, if that's all right, so Simon and everyone at home can see. So, yeah, we'll put that over here. Don't you worry, Simon. That's all right. We'll put it over here. So once you're ready to serve, we'll put it there. Okay. So Get everyone can here. see it. We'll, put, we'll do two, two. two bowls here, so if you want right. to try it. I'm gonna the, recipe that I've done, the recipe I've done here is for two people. Yeah, well, I tell you, tell you, look, Andy and Simon, it's like, it's like a power trip, isn't it, chef? You're he <laughs> he's head chef, he's in charge. It's usually I'm telling people. Yeah. yeah. We're going to put it on the hob, don't worry, we will, so everyone can see it. Oh, it smells fantastic. And I'm, I'm not a massive, even though I'm half Italian, funnily enough, don't tell Ugo, um, I'm not a massive pasta fan, but this... Oh, really? No, no, I don't know what it is. I think, I've, I think it's, it's, bad, it's bad pasta at school. Probably not doing it right. That's usually, yes. that's usually the reason. It's the reason why I don't like turkey at Christmas, because Mother always used to overcook it. <laughs> <laughs> what do you have at Christmas now, then? Um, goose. Oh, do you? Usually. Well, I'll have turkey as long as, uh, as, long as I'm the one cooking it. Yeah, OK. <laughs> no, no control there, then, eh? <laughs> right. I'll right. put a bit of Parmesan on. This, this is optional. Obviously, you can use any cheese you like, but um, beans as it's pasta, really, Parmesan should be the, uh, the go-to. This is Italy in a plate, isn't it, really? I like to think so. I like to think so. We'll, a... we'll, we'll, make, we'll make it look nice. You've got to have a bit of parsley. Good we'll for the breath as nice. well. So there we go. There we go. Hope you can see that at home. Recipe is online. There's a bit more um, rain. Not on the pasta, hey? Thank you very much. Uh, go to Family Carers Net and you'll be able to enjoy this. Just have a look at those two. Don't they look great? Superb. Thanks very much indeed, James. My pleasure. It's been an absolute pleasure seeing you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you to you and the team here at Lifehouse. Details about them and how you can be winning a trip here as well on the website now. Right, dig in.